All right, we're talking about some controversy. Uh, and the controversy is all about missing reps in your strength training. Okay, so for example, I'm gonna talk to you about this through the perspective of a simple three by three day. Let's say it's a, a squat day. And you know what I mean. Uh, maybe you're this student who can make 205. Surely make 205 for three reps each set. I'll do the math for you. When you do all the poundage, this is exactly 1,845 pounds, okay? 205 times three for three sets gets you here. Now, many athletes who have 205 in the bag may come out and do something like this. 205, set one, success for three. I feel good, I'll go to 215. 215, success for three. And they put 10 more pounds on the bar for 225 and fail the second rep. They've made one rep at, at 225. And we've all been guilty of this thing. And I'll save you the arithmetic, but the poundage here is 1485, okay? So now you have a day where someone down here thinks they're doing a great job putting more weight on the bar, progressing, et cetera, et cetera. And specifically, they're going back to their car that day having moved less poundage and are getting less strong that day from a strength perspective than the person who can maintain their loads across. So missing reps is very consequential to your training progress beyond whatever is put next to your name on the board. So it's very dangerous to look at a day like this as an opportunity just to build up to a heavy three, when in reality, the person who does the most work in the gym gets strongest, okay? Something to think about.